Welcome back everybody to Wartime, where we are just about to start the next mission with our guys being not ready by now because we still have the unassigned skill points that we got during the tutorial that we replay quickly as well as the mission that our guys went on. We also got a helmet so we should look into whom we assigned that to. This guy we want to deal more damage but I also think it's very useful to get a little bit more health because as you have seen in the last episode you guys might get swamped by the enemies unfortunately there's nothing new for him but we can also put the helmet on this guy it doesn't reduce his attack so i'm totally fine with that i still didn't have the chance to test them ending ability and i still don't know if they're just healing himself or anyone else but we'll see that probably during this mission. You have here two objectives, the War Rings and the War Horn. From the roof of Norway, the Heidrun tribe had carved themselves deep into the mountain walls, echoing in the distance the sound of a mighty battle horn, blazing fire into those weak of hearts. It was said to be the voice of Tyr himself. Okay, let's go for that and we can break all of our units in there, I like that very much. Oh well, guys, with a nice shield, looking pretty fancy already. This one, very fancy. Okay, let's begin. We're loading in. And, watching from the towers, the Hydron warriors patiently stood ready with the bows to roll. In the distance, the Warhorn was calling to battle. Well, well, well. Let's see about that, how ready they are. Search the deep caves and steal the voice of the gods. I like it, there's a chest just laying around. Plenty of enemies though, I'm not happy with that. Okay, since I played this already, I know that I want to go first inside there. So we are going to move our guys ahead. Stay strong, don't be afraid of anything. And I'm going to move them completely around, I don't want to trigger the bowman to attack us. And that's set already as well. I'm moving one unit inside there, all of them are getting in. Click the objective card, let's do that. Search leaves and yep, we read that already. So, get in there. Okay, let's get ready. Move in, move in, move in. You bash that guy, you are taking damage. Right, attack. Attack this guy. If we knock him out, we can flank him. I don't know why he doesn't even try to attack, but I'm fine with that. I'm gonna move him in a flank position as well. Really? He deflected the attack from behind? No, didn't help him much. Okay, we got already 50 gold. This can be destroyed. Something you should and need to look out for is these things. If we would have walked around on the outside, the guy with the bow could have attacked us easily. These guys might have actually flanked us in some kind of way, but now we can make them come to us by positioning our guys over here and hopefully after breaking through on this wall as well, they will come here one by one. And that would be very, very helpful. Hey guys, come here. I'm right behind you. He is wielding a... Well, it's not a spear. In Germany you call it Salfeder. I really hope that we can finish him easily as well. He's most likely a ranged guy. Or has the uh, two tiles thing as well. Taking plenty of damage. I don't like that. Dash. And heal up. I think that's already a good time to do that. Still have two heals ready. Oh, the next poke is a bow guy. You, cover behind your shield. Move in. Trim further. That's not good now. Move ahead. I didn't notice that he was a bowman, and I should have seen that. 
Oh, very good. We spawned one of our support units. Even though it's just a distraction, yeah, it's really good. And it's so much you have to watch out for that you have to do. It's getting a little bit hectic sometimes, but enemies are dead. And we collected the first ring. Very, very nice. Let's see, where do we get when we enter... Oh, well, when we exit the caves over here. We should be behind the enemy's line, right? Oh yeah, we are. Get up there and beat this guy up. There's space only for one unit of ours. It's a little bit of shame. Oh, you can attack from there. Getting these things grants you extra points. So I'm very tempted of going to for these two guys as well. I'm also pretty certain that he can shoot up there if he wants to. Pick it down. One thing I've learned is by getting your archer shooting at this guy, you can just activate your shield defense and you don't have to worry about him for a few seconds. Okay, you get it. We need to keep on pushing them. And I really would like to get one guy up there to deal with the archer. There we go. Okay, he, he should be dead. Rather quickly. There we go. Very good. Get a little bit of a level up over there as well. And then we just start moving ahead. Yeah, it's not that easy, the game. Not easy at all. <clears throat> you can see our guys are already pretty much beaten up there. <clears throat> but, healed up because of the weight points. <clears throat> and, there's second one on the top over there. We should keep that in mind for looking when we are healing our units. Because in this case, if I would have used this up, would be kind of a waste. So let's see what's waiting here inside. Two enemies. Let them attack us. You use this one. You move in. Bash him. Either the enemies got a little bit more stupid or this got a little bit easier. Because it used to be that you get beaten up here all the time. At least I did. I don't know if some if I was just too bad. But collecting the rings was in the first run through almost impossible. Now it seems like we actually are doing a pretty decent job with that. Okay, move in. And try to flank him. And that looks really good. Perfect, he's dead as well. There's another one or another wall that we can destroy and we should do the that. Oh, we as well collect everything around here. Where does that lead us to? Two ranged units, one close combat and one with a little bit of range. That's okay. Now that we know, I know that I'm going to push with our guys forward right away. I hope that we get a spawning unit rather early. Now let's see. Oh no, he's only killing himself. So, okay, sorted that out. My guys are ready to rush in there. He will do that and activate a shield while this guy is just going to beat him up. Haha, <laughs> he wants to go for the same slot. You fall back, you jump in over there. That is actually not good. Bash him. I want him to move to the archer. The second one of these. Very nice. Well, one destroyed, the other one spawning right afterwards. That's not good for them. 
very, very nice attack. We now are with five units. Um, okay, they despawn after a certain time. Four units. Three units. Okay. There's an archer on top. He's shooting at us already. We fall back a little. Apparently, it also triggers when we are blocking. Okay, guys, go ahead. Destroy the fences. Or the defensive lines. And get in there. It appears like our units have the uh, right to go in there as first on the fields. I would like to bash this guy. And you're going to beat him up. Okay, that looks already very good as well. Fall a little bit back. Uh, it's unfortunately not space for him anymore. Come on, it's just a, sh a spearman. You should deal with him easily. I mean, I can also heal him up. You should have your ability ready. That's actually very helpful. Otherwise, you would need to use up more of these, and I don't like that. Actually, it seems like it was a little bit of waste again because there's a waypoint so what are we having right here we have a bowman uh, let's call him spear guy since i don't know the English phrase and a shield one over here another bow guy we should avoid that because we can't get to him unless we use the key Let's do the thing again with using the shield of this guy to avoid the damage. Oh, let them come to us. Oh, that's perfect. If they're coming to us... Because this guy cannot attack us. Since he doesn't hit us, I'm very happy with it. No, I would like to fall back actually. Nah, that's fine. Just takes a little bit of time, I guess. Now we are doing this and this. Bash him. These are the ones I'm most afraid of currently. Yeah, difficult to kill. Deal a good amount of damage. As you can see right there. Oh yes, full health. I actually thought it's filling up completely. Okay, there we go. This one is down. So now... Well, he's coming as well. Over there though, I should fall back a little. Because of his range. Okay, get in there. That was most likely not his smartest move. Okay, you activate your shield. I know you're now a little bit slower. And he's swapping around his target. That's what I meant with the enemies have some kind of intelligence over there. They're reacting on you. Get up there. And now also he should be attacking. Nice, we got this one cleaned up. Over there, I don't need to care about. And very nice, we got all four of the war rings. Very, very nice. We have plenty of uh, battle points, so let's heal them up before we get inside here. And this fight actually used to be very interesting as well. He pushed us away. Yeah, such an asshole. We have our healing ready, uh, our ready. Our shields, I mean, with that ready. Okay, let's focus on this guy. Now, move in. Shield bash? No, not now. This does look pretty good. I could go ahead and flank him. I think I'll do that. He should be fast enough for that. Shield bash should be ready soon as well. Okay. 
Oh, he's getting eaten up pretty bad over there. Luckily, we still have a lot of points ready. There we go. Our defensive shield is ready, there the shield bash is ready, and this should be it for him. There is as well the bridge key. Pick it up by hitting with your axe on it. There's a chest, we'll take that, thank you very much. I wonder as well if there are some kind of hidden passages that you can't see that easily. Doesn't look like it. Another 50 gold. Thank you, and then we just go ahead. Okay, what is waiting for us? As said, one shield guy and one bowman. Where is our shield? There we go. Go over there, activate. Open that. I would assume that this guy is coming to us right now. No, he's not, but his friend is over there he was coming. You can move while adjacent to enemies only for one time. Come on, I want you to move. Then don't. Now we can move. Oh, that was not necessary and not meant to that. Okay, we got the Warhorn by just moving our guy up there. Really? There was still a chest because of this... Because of this guy spawning while we were attacking or being attacked. We won. We lost 10 units, that's basically always these guys. But there was still a chest. What the heck? I'm annoyed by that. So, next mission would be available and also a new unit is coming. Who are you? We have plenty of gold. 200. The Brood of the Wolf Clan. Force attack. Tightening every muscle in his body, the Brood lands an attack with massive damage. That's not bad. 30 pure damage. What is the amount of health that you have? Is it 30%? Is it always 100? Something like that? I don't know. Battle Roar. Intimidating Battle Roar giving surrounding enemies 2 sec attack delay in 10 seconds. That's actually not bad as well. And the kick. Everybody seems to have the kick. Okay, get in there. I wonder if you at some point also can buy armor and everything like that. Anyhow, we got a new helmet. Hmm, he's not going to equip that. I think we got a level up in between. Um, higher chance to hit. These shield guys are getting pretty annoying, I have the feeling. For you, this helmet is better. Take it. And you also need or uh, would need more health, but unfortunately you didn't get a level up. For you as well, better helmet. You also didn't get a level up. I like that mending wounds. It basically saves you some of these action points or battle points that you have. Why not? Put on your helmet. And since you apparently are made meant to deal a lot of damage, I think first of all I would like to increase his chance to hit. Did we get anything new over here? No, not that far. Well, that's fine. I'm happy with not using the strength of the Warhorn or the Trap. I'm fine with how it is at the moment. And we could go for this one. But I'm very much tempted of attempting this one on a higher difficulty. But I'll think about that. And now we'll call it a day. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you the next time. And bye for now.